Well, good Monday afternoon. We start off the week with a fresh blanket, didn't we? It was quite pretty this morning, but it wasn't exactly as beautiful if you were driving in it. Most of our metro area saw three to six inches of snow, with State Patrol reporting nearly 150 spinned out and 91 crashes overnight. You can see some of what was going on in this video right here. Luckily, the roads are much better this afternoon, and right now freeways across the metro are dry for the most part and crash free. Jamie, it was just one of those things where the snow came at the time that people needed to drive and there's not much people can do. Yeah, and that wet, heavy snow, that has just been uh, not really the norm as of lately, but boy, oh boy, uh, yeah, it really stuck to uh, the road, stuck to your tires, and uh, made a mess of things last night. As we take a look outside right now, 34 degrees, we are under the clouds still. A little bit of light flurry uh, around the area right now at this moment. North winds 13, so it is a bit breezy outside. As you take a look, though, we still have holding on to a winter weather advisory through about 3 o'clock up towards Mille Lacs County into western Wisconsin and up around the Duluth area. We're going to see some of that snowfall continue in that part of the region. Otherwise, we're pretty much in a clearing trend as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Only minor accumulations really expected around the area. And for today, we'll be holding on to those mid and upper 30s. That's going to help with the melting. Unfortunately, though, as you look to the northwest, Moorhead, Thief River Falls in the teens right now. Some cold air stuck to the west of us, and it looks like it'll stay there for a while because coming up in your seven day forecast, we are going to be watching our next snowmaker come at us. So Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, the snow is expected to intensify. It's something we're keeping a close eye on, but also notice we'll start to pull in some colder air as we get into the weekend, which goes right along with springing ahead with those clocks Sunday morning. All right, Jamie, thanks so much. Well, to keep an eye on what that next round is going to do in your neighborhood, you can download the CARE 11 app. It's free in each store and it will bring you radar and weather alerts anytime you need them. Well, new today at noon, the state fire marshal is investigating a deadly fire in North Branch. It happened Sunday inside of a home near Forest Boulevard and 360th Street. Police say two people died, but their names are not being released at this time. Charges could also come this afternoon for a Minneapolis mother accused of shooting two of her own children. Police say an 18 year old was killed and a 13 year old injured on Saturday after an argument between that woman and her kids. Right now, she is in jail and could be charged with second degree murder. In less than an hour, family and friends of Khalil Azad will be joined by students for a walkout and a march in downtown Minneapolis. They want an independent investigation into Azad's death. His body was found in Crystal last July, days after police say he ran from Robbinsdale officers during a traffic stop. Now, according to the medical examiner, Azad's cause of death is accidental drowning, but family and friends want to know for certain. Be sure to tune in tonight for a closer look at everything today also happening at our state capitol. A big bonding bill there. John Croman will be in St. Paul at 6 with the latest on that $1.9 billion bill being talked about today. Plus, Minnesota nurses are going to take their concerns about burnout to legislators, and that's on our shows at 5 and 6. And check that out. The dock is slick with snow, and the water is ice cold but didn't stop that duck. Ron Carlson snapped the pictures of a Duluth duck taking a dip in Lake Superior today. A big thanks to Ron for sharing those photos with us on our That's So Minnesota Facebook page. That's all for us. We'll see you here at 4, 5, 6, and 6.30. Take care.